What do you associate India with? An unexpected question on a channel about space, isn't it? But this is only at first, superficial glance. For many people, India is the free driving state of Goa with its gentle Indian Ocean and perpetually stupefied hippies. For those who are younger, it is Kipling's stories about Mowgli and Ricky Tikki Tavi, and oldies wiping away scanty tears will remember the heartbreaking chants from the movie Zita and Gita. But today, we're going to talk about India in a completely different context. Hello. It turns out that the country of elephants and sacred cows became the only country on the planet that sent the cheapest interplanetary mission to Mars in the history of astronautics. While uttering this phrase, one Elon Musk is somewhere sad. The Indian government invested Rs 125 crore, equivalent to $23 million, in the development of the apparatus and the overall project pulled in about $74 million and was realized in just 15 months. Checkmate to Europe and America. Mangalian is the name of the Indian probe that has been successfully orbiting the Red Planet since September 24, 2014. Mangalian means Martian probe. Apparently, the Indians decided not to bother with the name of the vehicle for long. Amazingly, the Mars Orbiter mission, which is the international name for Mangalyan, has earned itself another record. It became one of the few spacecraft to enter Mars orbit on its first attempt. Before that, only the European Space Agency managed such a feat. The fact that the Red Planet is characterized by a well-known treachery, almost all probes on its surface, or flying in orbit as artificial satellites, periodically pursue failure, but not Orbiter. It is still collecting information about the planet and has managed to send to Earth many stunning images of Mars. But first, about the probe itself. Mangalian is 13 to 37 kilograms of useful stuffing and fuel. The share of fuel from this mass is more than 850 kilo, but the weight of instruments is negligible, only about 15 kilos. The apparatus is equipped with a liquid engine, solar panels, as well as a number of gadgets necessary for the realization of the goals assigned to this mission. Here are some of them. MSM, a spectrometer instrument to determine the concentration of methane in the atmosphere of Mars. Its presence is known to indicate the possibility of organic life on the celestial body. LAP, a two kilogram photometer which is designed to assess the loss of hydrogen by the atmosphere of the red planet. MENTA is a relatively large instrument that studies the most rarefied part of the Martian atmosphere, the exosphere, TS, an infrared thermometer to help map Mars and its interior. MSS, a color optical camera equipped with many filters. It is thanks to it that Earth astronomers get such detailed and clear images. Given the useful stuffing of the Mangalian, it is possible to determine the goals that the probe pursued, revolving around the Red Planet. First of all, the apparatus studied the atmospheric layers of Mars and its mineralogical composition. In addition, Orbiter examined the details of the Martian surface in detail. And all these tasks, Indian probe solved perfectly. It is worth noting that the presence of an advanced onboard computer still want to pinch myself by the hand and wake up, turned Mangalian into an autonomous interplanetary station capable of solving most problems independently. So what did the probe see on Mars? It was able to see much of what even NASA's hyped vehicles could not do. Let's start in order. In the above image is the Pitol Crater. This 40-kilometer crater is located in the Ophir Canyon, named after a fabulously rich country filled with gold and jewels. But the Martian region by that name is no luxury. It's just a desolate, rocky part of a huge wound on the planet's body, the Mariner Valley. 
Ophir Canyon, part of a giant network of craters and gorges, was filmed by Orbiter from a distance of 1,157 kilometers, and the photo clearly shows how steep and precipitous its walls are. The object is about 10 kilometers deep and more than 300 kilometers long. The Mariner Valley itself has also been immortalized in the Mangalana images. This complex system of labyrinths and craters extends for 4,500 kilometers, a quarter of the circumference of Mars. The Titanic Canyon is 600 kilometers wide and up to 11 kilometers deep, essentially a land Mariana Trench. This image shows a three-dimensional projection of the Mariner Valley. The apparatus had time to consider and impressive Martian craters for example, a huge impact crater located near Huygens, 467 kilometer ancient pit, which appeared here in time immemorial. Orbiter's camera also captured the crater's gale and coma solar. The portrait of our dusty neighbor would be incomplete if the probe had not sent to Earth an image of the highest mountain in the solar system, the grandiose Olympus. In this photo, it is problematic to see the details and imagine the true scale of the mountain, but pay attention. Compared to it, the neighboring rocks seem a pale semblance of hills. In the 3D photo, the power of Olympus is much more apparent. This Martian mountain is a long extinct volcano, 26 kilometers high from its base. When you compare it to Earth's most enormous furnaces, it's unnerving. Its diameter is 540 kilometers. Not every country in the world can boast such a size. The caldera alone reaches 85 kilometers. At the top of Olympus, there is practically no atmosphere. There reigns a technical vacuum, and the pressure is only 2% of the surface pressure. For comparison, on Mount Everest, this indicator is close to 25%. But let's turn to objects that seem smaller against the background of the size of Mars. For example, the probe Mangalian managed to shoot a unique moment of the passage of tiny Phobos against the background of the giant Mars. Nothing to say, a worthy background for a stone bug. And here is another remarkable image, the shield volcano Arsia. The diameter of this mountain, located to the southwest of Olympus, is 435 kilometers, and its height is a little less than the Rock of the Gods, 19 kilometers. Moreover, the caldera of Arsia is even more extensive. Its width is as much as 110 kilometers. It is believed that the mountain is riddled with grottos that appeared after massive collapses. By the way, here is the same Arsia, but in the neighborhood of clouds of water vapor. Has Orbiter only taken pictures of the planet's details all this time and never once photographed it in its entirety? Of course, there are full-fledged portraits of Mars. Here you can clearly see the ice cap of the celestial body nestled at one of the poles. And in this photo, you can see the atmosphere of the planet. But all things must come to an end. We are leaving the Indian mission, which clearly proved that Europe and the USA are not the only ones with powder in their powders. If some of you have a thought why this probe is needed for a poor country drowning in garbage, here are the words of an Indian official. We often hear arguments that a poor country does not need a space program and cannot afford it. But if we did not dare to dream big, we would continue to be a nation of chopping wood and drawing water. 
India today is too big to remain on the back of high technology. We have nothing more to add, and if you have an overwhelming urge to rate this video after watching it, then feel free to give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.